So understandably, the internet was completely shocked and angry at Mr. Beast for all of the stuff he's done. Uh, and you can check out many of it in my previous video, which I will link in the description. But I recommend you watch this video also because I've cracked the code and for some reason, no one has seemed to notice it yet. What am I talking about exactly? So apparently, Mr. Beast has put out an apology. But of course it's not from Mr. Beast himself. No, apparently it's one of the members on the Mr. Beast team whose Twitter account is called Chunky. And he basically put out this ginormous, uh, uh, like this, this ginormous statement basically. Basically debunking everything in Doc, uh, Doc Pack's video. And I, I was going to read this on camera. I was actually going to read this thing on, on, on the camera for the first time. But then I realized, why isn't Jimmy himself responding to all of this? That was enough to make me realize that everything I said in the first video was true. Like say whatever you want about the worst YouTube apologies. James Charles, Logan Paul, Colleen Ballinger. The very minimum they did is at least tick off the one checkbox you need for an apology and that is the person themselves is doing the apology. In the case of Jimmy, he, he did not even do the apology. Like. Like, I want an actual Mr. Beast apology. I want to read an apology. In fact, I don't even want to read an apology. I want to view an apology. I want Jimmy to make a video uh, trying his best to debunk uh, all, all of this because if he is able to bring some undeniable evidence to the table about how all, everything or at least a good majority of things said in Doc Pack's video was uh, wrong and then talk about the good things he's done in the world, on top of that, then that will be more than enough for him to be seen in the eyes, in the in the good eyes of the public again. Because at this point, Jimmy is done for, like him and the rest of his team, including this chunky fella. Like I don't know where they go from here, but it's very clear that I don't need to waste my time with this apology. And judging by the replies of uh, the tweet, it seems like many other people are not buying this either so the way i see it if jimmy himself does not respond to it and he very well can because he is the owner of his own twitter account uh and and if you doubt that for a second look at his tweets because it's clear no one is running his account he is the one uh tweeting everything so if he's able to put out an apology by himself and actually debunk everything that doc pack said that is by far the biggest w in youtube history but we all know it's not gonna happen because it's been almost a week now and still no response from Jimmy Donaldson himself. So Mr. Beast, if somehow you're watching this, apologize. And maybe, just maybe, you have a slight chance of getting the world back on your side, which you desperately need. Like, you're the biggest creator in the world. The reason we are this angry at you is not only because you did something bad, but because you are the biggest creator in the world. Many of your fan base are kids and many adults trust you with their content and you need to be as ethical as possible in everything you do like if i was as uh, if i was as big as you are I, I i would be shitting my pants every day because i have to live up to the high standards that were that are set by everybody watching my videos but no i'm not you mr beast and that's fine i don't need to be you in fact no one needs to be you because after everything we've learned from dog pack and many other people it's clear that the last person we'd want to be right now is a man called James Stephen Donaldson.